The time oh, has welcome come. back to Ancient Greece with me, Barging Good. Uh, we're back in Thebes. Um, the time has come, the Ares' more headed servant will not leave Thebes alone, and as the city grows, the monster is bound to cause more trouble. Plus, you could really use some that marble, it seems to be guarding. For the good of the, good of the city, the no serpent must be slain. No ordinary human can perform an extraordinary task. You However, need you will need the help of a hero. I think got um, uh, emphasis a bit wrong there. Never mind. Right. Uh, first things first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the difficulty level down just a notch, down to Titan. Uh, I didn't intend to play that last mission on Olympian. It does explain why I found it like going through treacle. Um, <laughs> I was astounding. Um, yeah, I was too, too busy trying to talk about Titans. Uh, to paying attention, and I never got to, I never finished the point. I was going to talk about the Titans, Prometheus, Tantalus, and Atlas. And the different punishments, how Atlas had to carry the world on his shoulders. Possibly. That, that, I think that might have been disputed at some point. Citation needed. Um, what's his name? I just said, Prometheus. Brought fire to those humans uh, as a result, uh, had to have his liver pecked out by a vulture or an eagle every day. It grew back overnight and it had to have it eaten, cut out and eaten again every day. Uh, Sisyphus had to push a boulder up a hill um, and then it had to roll down over the roll down and they had to push it back up again. Really elaborate with the torture. Like, how can you punish somebody that's immortal? Like, this, this is how you do it. Um, and Tantalus uh, was walked to his neck in the swamp with the, like, the, the, some really ripe and juicy fruits just out of reach, which is where we get the word tantalized or like tantalizing from. From Tantalus and his like fruits that he can't reach. Oh, I've been waiting quite a while to say that. I've got I know something. I know a fact. <laughs> Listen to me. Right to the city. Da -da 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 -da. Oh yeah, um, a bit of difference from last time. I realised that there's no way of like stopping the game when it goes from one level to the other. I didn't have time to save it, and in order to get that introduction, um, I had to play the mission again. And this time, I kind of overspent. Uh, that's all parks all the way down here, uh, and I didn't do something that I did last time. But I can't remember what it is, which is why I haven't done it. Uh, music's a little adventurous. I was like Sarah, give it to you. I'm enjoying that really much. Yes, I may now, may now um, build Hercules Hall. This is how you defeat monsters. If I was to send some rabble over to sort it out, um, they would all get slaughtered. There we go, this is what I was trying to explain last time. Um, because I've got so many people, quite a few of them employed, I've now got five divisions. I've moved that out there like that. And if I call them out, there they go, I get some rabble. It's also a good way, actually, of bringing unemployment down, because um, if you're out defending the city, uh, you're not working. So I've never thought about that as a means of controlling unemployment. Just send some rabble out and have them walk into a field somewhere. So they, they march up towards the banner, and the same thing happens with like noble homes and horsemen and hot plights and such like. So rubble are good for self-defence. Defend they, they can defend cities with you know a reasonable degree. You send one suicide squad out to hold the enemy down, and everybody else throws rocks. And you know you can you can fend off quite a sizable army with that. If you want to go, send them home now. I've had enough. If you go. I'm bored. How much longer do I have to stand here? Oof. Fine. Go home. Nobody's making you. Well, I was making you, but I'm not anymore. Um. Still not got any money. So in order to defeat, like if you want to go on a, a mission to another city, you need hot flights and professional armies of people who just fight for a living. Um, fairly accurate actually, you know, the, the warrior class. And then Athens, by building triremes, had the citizens were involved in it now, so it democratised the thing. If you were a fighting man in like Athens or in like Sparta or in Corinth or somewhere like that, and you're part of the hot white class, military service, then you're allowed to vote. In Athens, if you're in a galley, 
which most people were, that counts as military service, so they were allowed to vote, which is why Athens was a democracy, because of its reliance on the navy, which like brought everybody involved into the army. Uh, they're devolving because they've not got... Well, they've got, I don't think. Oh, no, they've got plenty. I've not, though. And I can't afford any. What I might do... So, back to the original point. I had a point. In order to defeat a monster, uh, you have to get a hero. In this case, it's Hercules. So you build a hero's hall. Hero's hall for Hercules. <laughs> All the ages. I'll put it next to the palace. There we go. Now, what he wants, Hercules is quite demanding. He wants uh, excellent culture access. No one's got none. But he will have poor access. He didn't get access to a philosopher. Uh, he needs to win any games. Um, 1,500 people in the city. And 32 and 4 of Y. If he's going to take on a high school, he wants to be, you know, wants to be blood in doing so. So then we can summon Hercules, he'll run over there, sort out the uh, Hydra, and that's two of the 12 labours of Hercules. Um, uh, hit, hit, that's labour number two. I had a quick look, in fact I've got it on my phone now, of the 12 labours of Hercules. So we've got, the first one was to kill the Nemean Lion. Uh, it's a unit that features in Age of, the, Age of Mythology, Nemean Lion. Um, so it, I think it has like poison, fires poison darts, I think. Uh, then you have the Hydra. Oh no, he fires, fires like splints and arrows at him, so he uses them as arrows. Then he kills the Hydra uh, by burying its head in the dirt, I think. So rather than cutting the head off and like two more growing out, he just buries it in the dirt so it suffocates, I think. Um, and uses the poison from the Hydra to poison the arrows. Uh, then I've got uh, the kid, Karenian Hind. Uh, which is like a, a deer, uh, which was lab laboured to do because it, it, it's thought that he would upset Artemis, the goddess of the hunt. Um, captures it, I think, lets it go. So, you know, doesn't upset Artemis and fulfills the, the mission quest. Uh, the Algean stables I mentioned last time were, I think, like Algus had, Algus, Algus had some st huge stables, so many horses. Uh, but he never cleaned it out, so it's filthy. And they thought, I think he gave him like a week to clean out this huge stables. Popularity of waned. Why? 15% unemployment, that's why. Um, Dadgian stables were filthy, gave him a week to clean them, he's never going to do it. Then Zeus can kill him, or Hera can kill him. Because Hera didn't like Heracles, as he should be called. It's Heracles when he's. Greek is Hercules when he's Roman. Um, does anybody buy wine? That's no good. Buys wine. Buys marble, but I can't get any marble unless I get rid of the Hydra. Hmm. So what Hercules does is he redirects the river to come through and like wash it all out. Uh, does it in record time? He comes back and says, "Done it." Oh, bloody hell, Hercules, Heracles. I think I'm stalling for time here while I'm waiting for funds to come in. I don't know where they're going to come from. Um. Yeah, Hera doesn't like Heracles because he's a stepson. Um, the, the, the child of somebody else, Zeus and a mortal. Of course! <laughs> like the Minotaur is like Zeus's child, and I can't remember who the mother is, but uh, he, he came to her as a bull and had to construct some contraction that allows her to have sex with Zeus as a bull without like causing, causing eternal bleeding. Um, and then and then the Minotaur was born and it was so horrific they built a labyrinth to store it in.
Ooh. Frogs and fastest citizens. Unemployment prevents immigration. That's how to do it then. Uh, no. Maybe I ought to hire somebody. So what I'd do is, is, is like olive press. Can I grow olives then? Oh yeah. Does anybody buy olives? Uh, buys wheat and wine, but put no armor. But they're not trading. They're not trading. You buy sculpture and wine. You buy onions and marble. Libya buys bronze and oh, Libyans buy fleece and bronze. Well, that's something. I've got rather a lot of fleece. In fact, I've got more than the need. So what I'll do? Appear to Libya. Build appear to Libya, not appear in Libya. That's be terrible. Uh, terrible idea. And we will sell all of the fleece. Now there's some meadow around here. I'm trying to think where to... That's very nice of you, but I've not got the storage for it just yet. Oh, so much wheat. I just can't eat it all. I might give it as a gift, actually. Uh, who buys wheat? selling it to? Oh! To Mount Pelia. Mm, it'll give a gift. Have some wheat. I've got more than enough. Um, no particular reason, but it's always good to keep on the right side of your neighbours. So if I could have done that in the fair road to raise my kingdom rating, I quite like the concept of that. Rather than just having one uh, kingdom rating, you have your kingdom rating, and this would essentially be the relationship you have with other cities. And emperor is even more than that because things don't, don't just happen like trade routes don't just appear and disappear like out of your control. And emperor, you actually have agency. That's the word I was looking for. Agency over what happens. Where can I? Grow some olives. Might do it there. It's near some wolves, but the growers can keep them at bay, can't they? Or put a tower in. The fire at the wolves. Tell them to man the towers. It's also a good way of keeping people busy. Man the towers. Good shot. Good shot. Hmm. Most exalted by Jingo. You can call me that any time you like. Uh, great honour is visited upon us today. Our contestants have won the Nemean Games. Their heads are wreathed with crowns of fresh wild celery. Yeah, I hate celery. What little taste it has is horrible. Uh, you can celebrate this, their prowess by building a commemorative monument. Furthermore, all other cities have noted our accomplishment and their opinion of us has increased. So I imagine Mount Pelion loves me right now. Congenial. Um, not that that matters, he's just <laughs> gives us some cash. Right, so that's that's made that a little more fertile. What we'll do is then put a couple of growers lodges here. Now there is a formula for how many trees it can have and how many they can uh, farm over a period of time. But I don't know what that figure is, so I'm just going to put a small amount there. Four 
160. Crikey. Cheers, Argos. Argos. <laughs> um, so I'm laughing because it's, it's of course also a, a high street store in the UK. That's Argos. There it is. Buys wine and sculpture, sells fleece and olive oil. No good. So we've got that, and as we've got an industry set up, we may as well have some olive presses here. Two, three, four, five, six. I don't know if this will be enough, or it's too little or too much. It's pretty much all guesswork. <laughs> Like I say, it's, people have done some number crunching on this, and it is impressive. There's a, a, a Reddit with, like, Impressions Games, r slash Impressions Games. And there's also um, a website, Heaven's Games, Heaven Games, Zeus, I think. It's got all sorts on there, Advanced Nations, Pharaoh, Emperor, all the Impressions Games, all of, like... It's past unemployment, it's gone now. They, why are they devolving? Water. Water, water everywhere, and it is everywhere. And not a drop to drink. See water. You two. This city truly is a you. This city is more refreshing than any other city, and its leader is the most sparkling. Thank you. Yeah, you two. I was going to, I was going to sack you, but you know. I don't know why that, there's not really a challenge in Zeus getting water because everywhere is under a water table. I mean the challenge is that these two doofuses don't seem to want to go in any other direction but round. Oh, now they're paying, now they're doing it. In fact that they're overdoing it just a little. So I'll put a storage yard in, storehouse. with olive oil and olives, of course, naturally. So that little industry there, I'll build a road from there to there, just for ease of transport. They're quite well fed these people, they've got cheese and bread. It's a cheese sandwiches for everybody. I wouldn't mind living there, I, I could survive on cheese sandwiches, they're lovely. Oh, cheese up. Cheese and pickle. Mm, can't have pickle. Although, one we go if we get some onions. Which I can I can sell, but I can't produce. I don't think so, anyway. Wheat. Sheep. Oh, this, is, this is mission two of thingy one. This is, this is easy. It doesn't get any easier than this. I'm still struggling to make a profit. Um Really can't these people look after themselves? Oh. Nicely done. Actually, if I take out that roadblock there and make it over there instead. I think there's already one there, isn't there? Yes. So his route should go all the way around there, all the way down there, all the way up there. But it doesn't. Oh well. Should go up there. Those wolves are having a hard time. They said they were stirring as a room rest in the city. Um, I've not been invited to the Pythian Games, like hell we haven't. Right, we've got gyms, philosophers, so the theatre, and the drama school somewhere out here, in the drama school there. 
Can we stop with this spinning, please? The spinning is making me dizzy. You'll get the reference in a minute, because it just, like, repeats itself over and over again. I have come down from Mount Olympus. And it's quite funny, you know, the first dozen times, but there's something in it, the game, that just makes it play the same sounds over and over and over again. Never a problem with Pharaoh, because you never really got words being spoken, it was just noises. But, um, you'll see what I mean as the city comes to life. And I put a nice big stadium in, because I can't afford it. There we go. That's going to move when the posh housing comes in, because, you know, they deserve... <sighs> There is no unrest in the city. I think not. I think it's something like each grower's lodge can look after nine trees. In which case I've gone way overboard. And we'll put in a couple more grower's lodges. Would anybody else like to buy wheat? I'm, I'm like flooded with this stuff. And since we're exporting fleece, uh, may as well make it into an industry. Apparently, if you don't buy any more sheep, they do um, like give birth on their own accord. Who knew? <laughs> I mean, in the game, not in real life. There we go, more sheep than a little. What you can do to shorten the distance is if we have a storehouse nearby, like there, that's not going to burn down, is it? You can just accept your place in life. No, accept fleece and accept cheese. Can't accept cheese. Why not? Because it's a foodstuff. Quite clever, really. Only certain foodstuffs can be stored. Oh, thank you. Right, that's all the booze that... has some access. What are you missing? He's got philosophers. He's got athletes. He's not got actors. Uh, why not? Unemployment is going to be a problem. It's going to be a huge problem. It kind of already is. 106 workers need it. There they come. The workers come in two by two. Hurrah, hurrah. I've heard that there's a cornucopia of food here. Yummy! Yummy! It's a cornucopia if you like cheese and wheat. Like I say, it doesn't sound too bad. It's better than some of the cities I've had in Pharaoh, where it's just been chickpeas. What's for, what's for breakfast? Chickpeas. What's for lunch? Hummus. What's for dinner? Hummus with chickpeas. <laughs> when entire cities that just eat figs. <laughs> the poor bowels. <laughs> just. <laughs> what's for what's for breakfast? Figs. Oh God, not again. Oh. <laughs> it would be horrible. Sounds disgusting. <laughs> oh, look at those houses. They have everything they need. First to a second mission, and I've got everything. They've got good access. Right. What are you missing? Philosophers, athletes, actors, and competitors. Really? Excellent. It doesn't need to be... doesn't bother where it is, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to demolish it and build it somewhere closer. There we go. I imagine it's, it's, it must be quite prestigious, um, living next door to Hercules.
We've got good access. He's right next to the theatre, he's right next to the stadium. No reason why he shouldn't have outstanding access. Good access. What are you missing? This is hard work. He needs a philosopher. I've got three podiums for. Well, the chances of winning the Isthmian Games are not bad. Hey! Uh, so I'm going to send Hercules. Off he goes. And all the wine is gone. Never mind. What are the mission conditions? 48 slabs. Who buys marble? Because I'm thinking... Which is always dangerous. Um, wheat and wine. That's fine. Onions and marble. Caledon. It's not Calcedon. Um, I can't read. Or pronounce. Caledon. Which is, of course, where the Caledonian boar comes from. Of course, nowhere near Caledonia, which is Scotland. Somewhere in Scotland, anyway. I think it was what the Romans called Scotland. Something like that. Is anybody else buying marble? No, it's just Caledon. So what I might do is build a bridge. Um, A bridge to nowhere, as it were. And um Build a road towards a hydra, but I want to know who's building the road. I am I'm Hercules, and I'm ready and for a challenge. For a challenge. What have you got? I hope it's something worthy of the strongest man alive. Um, well, oh yeah, we got as far as the cleaning of the Aegean stables. We've got the Stymphalian birds, which is the sixth challenge. We chased away using cast bronze castanets. You can imagine them being like a flamenco dancer. Um, there he is. This city is unsurpassed. Oh, charming man as well. He's strong and charming. Um... The Cretan bull goes to Crete and slays a bull. Oh, that's fairly. The mares of Diomedes. What was that? Uh, eighth labour was to bring back the mares of Diomedes, which had been trained to eat human flesh by their owner, King Diomedes of Thrace. Where's Thrace? It's like northern Greece, if Rome total war is anything to go by. And it is. I've lost him. There he is. Those people there are like walking past Hercules. You could give them a hand. That poor chap's struggling. This city is unsurpassed. unsurpassed. Employees needed. Um, ninth labour is the belt of Hippolyta. I think that one involved sleeping with a lot of Amazons. Amazons being, I think they were from over here. And ferocious. Ferocious women that fought in, you know, fought in battle. Um, I think that's one. I think he slept with Queen Hippol Hippolytia. Hippolyta. Queen Hippolyta of, of uh, Amazonia. And stole the belt afterwards. Something like that. Uh, the cattle of Gerion. Um, it's tenth. Is that some kind of uh, cattle rustling? I'm not sure. Um, the Apples of Hesperides is where he, he tricks Atlas, who I mentioned earlier, to go and get the... the... Ah, why are you all... Some olive oil from the peddler. We're working on it. It's a oh, <laughs> fluctuating no, population. Yeah. What did uh, I pay some people some well, more money. But, whoa. Notice that if you pay people more or less, it changes how many workers there are. 107. 78 needed. 
It's a neat little fix to get you out of a bind, but quite expensive. I mean, you can offset the cost by then taxing people more. 63% of the population visited by the clerk. I don't like the sound of that. They're getting away scot-free. Well, that's better. Right. Making reasonable income. I'm making more money than I was last year. Um, where's Hercules? Crikey, that looks drastic. It was a pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> I hope Aeolus guides us home. Well, so do I. He's not going to use the bridge, he's going to construct a raft and make his way on way over the river. Because, you know, that's how Hercules does it. Yeah, so he tricks Atlas to go and fetch the um, apples for him. He says, while you're there, I'll um, hold the world for you. And then somehow managed to trick him into... Um, oh, it's like, I've got the apples now, you can carry on holding the world. I'm not having anything to do with this. And then he tricks him somehow by saying, I'll fetch a cushion. And like, can you hold this while I fetch a cushion to make it more comfortable? And he's like, yeah, that's fine. Uh, and so he like August takes the Atlas takes the world on his shoulders again, and Hercules just wanders off taking the apples with him. Yes, of course. And the twelfth one is the Cerberus, the three-headed dog that guards the underworld. Oof! Oh, look at that animation. That's just—it's almost like I'm there. <laughs> I can't be too hard. This game is over ten years old. And if they'd spent more time on the graphics and less on the gameplay, I'd be even less happy. Making hard work of it. There we go. Just clubbed it to death, apparently. Wanders off. You know, deal with it. I'm expecting some like glasses, sunglasses to like come down over him. Hydra's been slain, and your people are rejoicing. Well, I have less of that. Well, now we've got a more steady supply of olive oil, perhaps these people won't all like... Oh, great, bye, Jingo. Good news abound. Our city's contestants won the Olympian Games. And they've been awarded the Olive Wreath Clan. If our city has a working stadium in four years, we can host our own games. That's how it that should work, isn't it? The winners of the Olympic Games should be the hosts next time around, rather than being corrupt. Being agreed by a corrupt um, IOC committee that, you know... Except places depending on how many perks they get, like... Um, and someone's like Norway back out of the, the Winter Olympics by saying, no, we're not going to give up, we're not going to construct these lanes for IOC officials only, and the um, King of Norway to give, like, I don't know, special banquets for, like, get committee members of the IOC. Um, I think that left two in the running, Azerbaijan and Beijing. Or was that for the Summer Olympics? I don't know. Point is, the, 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 the IOC is terrible. <laughs> uh, furthermore, you can now build a commemorative monument to honour our fine contenders to them in their victory. And stop it off, other Greek cities around Greece now think more highly of you. Oh, that's nice. So they're congenial. They're congenial. They're respectful. They're respectful and they're sympathetic. And Libya doesn't care because it's not Greek. It's, it's all the way over there. Who cares what they think? Um, Mount Caesarion quite likes me now, he's had a chance to invade me. So the appeal of the neighbourhood increases. Well, why don't we have an athletic monument next to the stadium? With uh, park around it. Uh, the bench to sit by and watch the athletes as they writhe around with very few clothes on. <laughs> Good grief. I don't know where that came from. Right, um So much wheat. The, the just... only room for these goods in the city is right here in my cart. I was gonna say right here in my stomach.
And I'm overflowing with wheat. Overflowing with ex with fleece. Overflowing with olive oil? Not yet. It could happen though. Still need more workers, but when they all arrive, hopefully they won't then immediately leave. Ooh. I am so smart. So very, very smart. I won the games. Ooh, good for you. I won the games! I'd like to thank my teachers at the drama school, the muses, and all the little people that made this possible. <laughs> He's an actor. Oh, that's quite, that's quite good fun. There's a certain charm to this game. I do like it. So, from a city building management, um, it is easier, but it then throws these curveballs in. I'll go through Rikology more highly. No problem. Um, for instance, you have these challenges, like you wouldn't have these in Pharaoh. Unlike the, the whole of Theseus, I think, requires you to, to cover your, surround your city with walls. And it's like, that's, that's like a nice challenge. I quite like that. Forcing you to do something out of the ordinary. 14 workers needed. Ah, there they are. Needs food from the Nagora. Ah, forget about it, you just bring the area down. Those lodges are on fire again. Hire to rest my friend upon. That's the theatre going again. If you've not heard it already, you will hear it soon enough. I have come down from Mount Olympus. Build a gazebo where that house used to be. That's better. Looks rather nice, that actually. Now, what am I waiting for? Oh, employment, that was it. Unemployed 2%. We're waiting for these chaps and chapesses and chapettes to arrive. And some of the homeless people to come back. There we go. 7%. Now I can start thinking about... Caledon, doesn't it, that buys the marble. So I'll put that there. Sell marble. Import sculptures. Lovely. That might be useful for later on. Uh, storehouse there with marble in. And then a storehouse, another storehouse with marble in. Um, maintenance office to stop it all falling down. A roadblock, and then. Lots and lots of mason shops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That might be too many. Yep. <laughs> Just a little bit, and I'm short by 112 workers. It's alright, we're working on it though. I might build some more housing just there we go. So I can lower the wage bill, because it's I'm tired of paying very high wages. That's an entirely the wrong place. My bad. Sure. Great. We'll have some common housing down here and some more down there and some over here and some by the palace. But not too much. Don't too many paupers nearby. Um. <laughs> 99 bottles of beer in the wall. 99 something love balloon. 990 love balloon, isn't it? That's the one. This is the wisest thing because we'll soon be leaving for Corinth to participate in the Ithmian Games held in honour of the Great Poseidon. So there. Wouldn't that be nice to have a modern equivalent to the Ithmian Games where everybody gets together and there's a big debate and it's got the spectator crowds of like a football match, like a World Cup match and they're just watching these people ask philosophical questions, you know. <laughs> Ooh, 
we're getting some chance going. Come on, Plato! Come on, Plato! <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying to think of philosophical football terms now. Right, yeah. I thought I'd do that. I'm explain it. Um, what rhymes with categorical imperative? <laughs> so we've got an excess of everything, so I may as well get the population involved. Just pump it up to ridiculously high levels, because why not? Tells them regards you more highly. That's nice. I've got an abundance of everything. Apart from marble, which is, you know, kind of what I need to win the level. Joyous news by Jingo! Our philosophers have won the Ithmian Games and are proudly wearing their wreaths of wild dry celery. You can make their achievements um mark their achievement by building a commemorative monument in their honour. Throughout Greece, word is spreading of your philosopher's wisdom, and our city's reputation has improved as a result. Wow, I'm, I'm on a winning streak. Um, let's have a scholar monument next to the palace. Lovely. And we'll put, again, some parks around there. I might have a road down here that's just a boulevard. I never usually go into this kind of... I quite never... this kind of detail with my cities, but I may as well. Since I'm just waiting for marble now and I've got nothing else to do and a bit of money in the bank. So there's a nice boulevard to nowhere. Uh, we'll have a gazebo there and one there. Oh, I've got 2,000 residents. Lovely. And I want to hedge maze about the past as well. Um. And parks around there. It's quite a pretty game, isn't it? An ironic column. <laughs> uh -huh. Get that sheep out of the way. There you go. Um. May have gone mad with power. Entirely possible. Look at that, that's lovely. I'll have a few benches just down here. Because sometimes you just want to, you know, go beyond just facts and figures and desirability statuses and just have a bit of fun with it. It is a city builder game and, and you know. May as well build a city rather than just a, a means of means to an end. Uh, I don't like living next to the hospital. I have a monument nearby to remind you. A population monument that shows how high the population can be. Um, in an hour of play than you can in a year of talk. Why isn't it? Yeah, that's also true. You discover more about a person in an hour of play than you do in a year of talk. I like that. They're, they're right. It's right. Because you get a real... The how people act in competition and in play shows more about them than what they say, do you? There you go, you can't complain about that now. You're not complaining about not having enough fleece, but never mind. Oh, I think that looks quite nice. I mean, I've spent everything. How uh, many slabs of marble have we got? 24 there. 24, 32. I might just miss out on 48 this year. Or not. 16. 16. 24, 32. 40. I need 48. 
Yeah, I must say produce eight in the next month. It's going to be next year. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Forty-one. They, they can just give me that. Can't build any sanctuaries yet. Sanctuaries are like the monuments of this game. And they're a lot easier to build, a lot quicker to build than pyramids, for which I think we're all grateful. Um, that's a shame, that was like that close. Uh, what do we do for the next 11 months? Appeal the neighbourhood. That's not that bad. Why don't we put a nice Doric column? Quite expensive, but you know, you're worth it. Across there like that, and around there. This is adversely affecting the score, I know, but some things are more important than life than score, such as Doric columns. We'll have some parks across the back here. There are a few benches by the theatre so you can sit down after a good performance. Or well, after a, like a terrible one. And uh, a gazebo around the back here. So all the people at the gym can hang out afterwards. A few more benches. We've got somewhere to sit down and rest after a leg day. And um, a few more parks. Huh. Ah. We'll some parks around the back here. And a few more benches. Two there. Probably going to have to be all destroyed in the next mission. We'll have to make way for something. But... Ah, well. And we'll have a nice... A nice hedge maze by the stadium. On the park, going around the side here, like that. There you go. Who lives in a place like this? Well, anybody would. You're still not happy. A couple of gazebos, there you go. Now they're waiting for olive oil. That's fine. And put wages down a bit. There we go. Probably ought to put taxes down as well. Ooh, that's uh, most of the expenses. <laughs> Construction, 6,883. Woo! And it's all been useless. There's been no useful construction for ages. Right, how are the marble coming along? Our strongest and fastest citizens will soon make their way to Argolis to vie for the cherished prize of fresh celery. Again. Caledon loves me! Most favoured by Jingu, I, Tidius of Caledon, count you among my favourite people. You are a fantastic leader and everyone should aspire to be more like you. Ah, oh, well that's nice. Um, I wouldn't have got that if I'd have finished the mission six months ago. Um Cheers, Caledon. Tell you what, I'm gonna make use of your kind hearted words and attitudes. Um can I have some sculptures? <laughs> I want to make a statue of myself. Yeah, nice try. You move your goods elsewhere. <laughs> Try to flog that with all sorts of junk. They are just burdened down with so many olives. Mm, thank you. Nobody knows what it is yet, because there's a, a, a blanket over it. That's because when it puts down in that is the sanctuary, it could be anything. 
Does he still like me? I do actually. Let's have some more sculptures then. And then we'll also give you some marble because you're, you're a nice chap. What do you, can you give me? You can't give me anything. Respectful is congenial. So they tried their hardest, our city's contestants came in second at the Nemean Games. Ah oh well, he tried. I'll have some sculptures here next. I think this is like future proofing. Is this cheating? Because I already know what's coming next. There's going to be some sanctuaries because there always is. But I also know for definite there's going to be some sanctuaries. So I've got the marble, I've now got the sculptures. So I should be able to get it done fairly quickly. So it might be a short video next time, he says. The day I do a short video is the day something terrible happens, I'm sure. Cheers, Caledon. You're a pal. Do you still like me? It does, actually. No surplus of the sculpture. I've had it all. <laughs> Mount Pelion. And very high. Yeah, they don't like it when you request from allies. Who buys sculpture? I could, I could just sell them. And make a ton of money, actually. They buy wine. They produce wine. I could give him... Yeah, I could ask him for wine and then sell it on. That sounds a bit too devious for my liking. Yeah. Libya buys bronze and fleece. And you can't, like, demand things from them because it's all the way over there. Sound of Sexual Year has not been in vain. Um, whoa, we've got... It's full. Need some more storehouses full of marble. That looks quite productive actually now that hydro's out of the way. I don't know if it's a limited resource, because like he's digging through, and then digs through to a third level. There must come a point when you run out of marble. Oh, that's so productive, look at it all! <laughs> it's, and they're ruining the environment for fun and profit. And this is both! I'm having a great time! <laughs> it's alright, it's Greek countryside, it's not exactly picturesque at the best of times. I don't think actually, I've never actually been to Greece. I did think about going because I, I did listen to a series, an audio series, audiobook series on ancient Greek mythology, which I was going to use as the basis of commentary, but I've forgotten because I listened to it last year. I remember when they were talking about like the island of Calypso and all those other Greek islands and see, see the colour of wine in the evenings and sort of sitting there with a, a bottle of. Uh, what's it called? Um. Oh, we're gonna have the, the kind of wine. The, the, the two types of wine the Greeks do. One with like a bit of pine in it, and the one that everyone knows. Uzo. Yeah, bottle of Uzo. Sitting on the beach, looking out to Greek island. The serpent oh, is I'm gone. done. <laughs> Yet worries remain. Ares, Ares was fond of this the serpent. serpent. And you cannot be, be happy that you have arranged for the serpent's death. death. Athena, Athena, the goddess, the goddess of, of warriors, crafts and wisdom, wisdom, has arrived, has arrived to, collect to collect some of the serpent's teeth, teeth for some, some strange and wonderful purpose. purpose. Maybe she can shed some light on how to earn Ares' favour. So, produce 48 smudge of marble in one year, best is 87. Boom! Almost double. That's how I roll. Uh, right, all we've got to deal with now is an angry god. So, um, yeah, something for next time. Anyway, I've rather enjoyed this, and I hope you did too. I will see you next time in the City of Thebes. Oh, uh, final point. Uh, yes, 
the answer to the riddle last time of what walks on uh, four legs in the morning, two legs in the afternoon, and three legs in the evil, evening is man. Um, it's in the morning of your life, you're walking all fours as a toddler or a, an infant, as a baby. Uh, in the afternoon of your life, at the peak, you walk on two legs as a man. And in your old age, the evening of your life, you walk on three legs um, on a walking stick. Of course, for you know, wheelchairs and mobility scooters. That kind of changes the answer somewhat. Smashing stuff. Anyway, that's the answer. And it's terrible, isn't it? It is so disappointing. <laughs> My friend was appalled when he heard the answer to it, because he was racking his brains and thinking, oh, what could it possibly be? Three in the morning, two in the next, is it something to do with this, that and the other? And it's like, oh, it's man. In the morning you're a child, in the afternoon you're a man, in the evening you're an old man. And he's like, that's terrible. That's awful. I can't believe I've wasted so much time thinking about it. On that note, yeah, I'll see you next time. Ta-ra!